Hello world. Hello world. Welcome back to my channel. Call me Biz. Dave Attell. Look, Dave Attell. Actually, uh, I heard someone say that Dave Attell is a comedian's comedian. You know, he's probably your comedian's favorite comedian. You know, when I hear that about comedians, I automatically think, all right, they are all about the craft and they are very fundamental you know they know how to craft a great joke or a great punchline i've reviewed him on this channel several times uh hilarious i like the fact that he is super raw but of course but look we're gonna get into that if you're new here please hit that subscribe button like the video if you like the video leave a comment let me know you were here all right it's 2024 no more ghost watching and uh look i'm ready let's go ahead and watch now get ready for dave attell thank you how's it going all right i know you're looking at me and i know what you're thinking and uh, the answer is capricorn so, uh. He's super young, man. Still I'm glad the game. Part. Paul Simon, a lot of people think I look like Paul Simon. <laughs> Paul Simon and Gilligan. That's what people say. No, and you look like Paul Simon. I said Paul Simon. I asked my mom about it. She just started to cry and had a drink. So I really don't know what it means, but. I am glad to be here. This is the last place in North America where you can smoke. How about that, huh? Don't you think? <laughs> this is it. No more. Exactly. And you know what's going to happen? They're gonna make smoking illegal. Then they're gonna hunt us down and kill us. <laughs> and it's gonna work, you know why? Because we can't run, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> You're a good crowd, man, this is fun. I was doing a show before, it sucked. I walk out on stage, a guy right in front of me starts screaming at me. He's like, get off, get off, please. Please get off. I look down, I'm standing on his hand, all right, so. <laughs> I'm coming from the States, I live in New York City, and it is Yo, too violent to there, York. it is very violent. My last day, I saw a guy on fire running down the block. A man on fire running down the block. And the scary part, a guy chasing him with marshmallows. It was frightening, it was frightening. I got into fights there all the time. I got into a fight, the last fight, it was my fault. Never call a skinhead curly. I'll tell you that right now. <laughs> Let her walk by, I swear, I'm telling you. It's frightening. Let her walk by. <laughs> Took me a long time to get up here. I hitchhiked, Did you ever hitchhike? Yeah. That's the way to travel, huh? Bound and gagged in the trunk of a lunatic's car. Kind of what a month. You, you know. All right, let's turn this to very funny. Here we go. So, I've been hanging out a lot, and uh, what was I doing? I was hanging out with a friend. Don't you hate when a friend tells you something about you, themselves that you already know, but you gotta act surprised so you won't hurt their feelings, you know? It's like, you haven't had sex in a year. Come on, a good looking four foot, 800 pound guy like yourself wearing that Star Trek t-shirt. Come on, man. You're Fabio, I don't get it. You got friends and then you got best friends, there's a big difference. That's funny. A friend's That's a guy funny. will help you move. A best friend's a guy will help you move a body. That's how I look at it. <laughs> My friend wants me to bungee jump. I'm not doing that. A guy died bungee jumping. The cord didn't break, he bungee jumped into a birthday party. They thought he was a pinata, beat him to death. It was very sad. <laughs> I think that bungee jumping thing, that's making fun of suicide, don't you? <laughs> no, if this catches on, every time you see a guy on a ledge, you're gonna think he's bungee jumping. It's like, hey, check out that guy up there. He's just about to do that bungee. Oh, there, oh no, he's cordless. Look at that, huh? <laughs> he's a cellular bungee jumper, yeah. Wireless. <laughs> All right, let's see what the next topic is. Oh, that's, that's not, that's... Sex. All right. <laughs> Perfect. Don't you ever wish you could have sex with the first person you ever had sex with again? To show them how good you got at it whenever you bun? <laughs> I went to one of those sex stores, you know, these sexual toy stores? You know the kind of place you and your friends go in and laugh at all the crazy things, and then you go home and then you race back alone and buy it, you know that kind of place? <laughs> I bought two pairs of edible underwear. 
I always buy two because I usually eat one on the ride home. So you know what I'm saying. Edible underwear. What kind of kinky shit? They got all these different condoms there. You know what I'm talking about? I learned the lesson. Never let a woman put a condom on you. It's embarrassing. It's like, hey, look, there's still more room. <laughs> We could tie it off and try it again, yeah. I don't know. Dating women is hard. That's why I stalk them. It's a lot easier. And uh, remember, you know, uh, I was on a date with this really hot model. Just play along, all right? And. Um, <laughs> It wasn't really a date date, you know, we just ate dinner, saw a movie, then the plane landed, but... Uh... <laughs> I don't know, I like these porno movies, you know? People are against them. I say, hey, whatever a man and a woman and uh, another woman and a woman with a penis and a midget do, it's really their business. <laughs> you seen that one? It's pretty good, huh? <laughs> Masturbation, I don't know who brought that up, but let's talk about it. I have a black belt in masturbation, I'll tell you that. I am the Jean-Claude Van Hand of masturbation. People say masturbation is normal. Yeah, until you do it in front of them. Trust me on that one. Especially on a job interview, but you know what I'm saying. Like, I really wanted to work for the government, you know what I'm saying? I mean, really. Everybody has sex, that's the point, everybody. Everybody, even the Amish people. You know what I'm talking about, these Amish people? Yeah, yeah they, they got have kids. sex, And I bet you they scream things, they get loud, out of control. I'd love to hear that. Oh, oh, Jebediah, oh. Plow my field, oh. Do me like a Mormon, oh. <laughs> Give it to me buggy style, come on. You Abe Lincoln looking man, oh. Blue bonnet on it, oh. Give me a whisker burn where it counts, come on. Let's party like it's 1899, oh. Do me, do me like we have a TV and a stereo and a camcorder. Do you think they smoke afterwards? Probably a ham, you know what I'm saying? I mean, really. I love making fun of the Amish, you know why? Because they're never gonna find out, that's right. <laughs> Good night, thanks a lot, take it easy. And that's hilarious, they ain't never gonna find out. Yeah, for real. Or, or the Amish, they could have boring sex, you know? Straight, missionary style, one, two, one, two. One, and they count it like that too. They're like one, two, in, out, in, out, in, out, in, out. Okay, here I come. <laughs> that, that's not really funny, but look, um, that's hilarious. That's hilarious, man. Uh, uh, Dave is funny. It just felt like he was trying a whole bunch of things there. You know, uh, he had a lot on his mind. He just wanted to try a whole bunch of uh, a, a different joke and, and see what landed. There was a guy in the back just throwing back shots. He was like, <laughs> and that mullet, that is one of the wildest mullets I have ever seen in my life. Uh, yo, yo, he had some good jokes, man. Very, very funny jokes. Very, very funny jokes. It is funny because when he, when he talked about masturbation, um, you know the rapper designer this 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 nigga was masturbating on a fucking plane and people were <laughs> niggas were horrified they're like is that a dick in a hand beating it they're like what the fuck <laughs> i could imagine bro yeah yeah it's crazy a lot of things that that you know humans do every day but nigga do that shit on your own private time we don't want to see that that's crazy shout out to david tell man that was really funny that, that was really really funny yo he had that joke <laughs> about things that you know about your friends and when they <laughs> admit <laughs> that was funny that was funny 
that was funny y'all let me know if y'all want to see more of dave Otello on this channel and i got you and if you made it this far go ahead and hit that subscribe button like the video if you like the video leave a comment i'll see y'all in the next one and guess what you better be there peace